It's absolutely preposterous. Yes, I know I'm probably no match for you. I'm only armed with a little dagger. Very well, I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his associates, an old bandit named Gunlock. Some say his last name is Forktongue, but I wouldn't know about that for sure. All I know is that Erendil sends the end product to Gunlog, and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggle the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck on the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then used boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My shipment is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. No, I suppose it won't. Not now, at least. Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. You needn't worry about that. Now then, I'll take my leave of you. By blade or by spell, if you want it dead, I'll make it.
need something? Need something? friend but thank you will you go check outside and make sure it's safe for us to leave i heard that bandit say there's some others on the way to ship us out of here please help us that's my wife and son in there i've got to help him he's not going to make it if we don't hurry i'll go see what i can do to get my family and the other man ready to get out of here please make sure the coast is clear and please hurry This isn't permanent, but you may have a headache for a while. I suppose there's no harm in you knowing. It's a spell from a very arcane and ancient school of magic. I am one of only a few who can wield it these days. For a lesser skilled being, its effects are more harmful to the caster than the victim. In recent times, many died simply trying to learn it. But I have mastered it, even if it does leave me a little tired. But I don't think you really want to talk shop, do you? No, of course not. You've caused me quite the bit of trouble, you know. But be that as it may, I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. Yes, charming to the last, I'm sure. But you do understand that it's simply a matter of my good graces that you're still alive, don't you? Do you think that slaughtering an entire dispatch of old Mary's soldiers, including two Justicias, would go unnoticed by the Dominion? Were it not for me, that fetid little town you're trying to rebuild would have been razed to the ground by now. And the Thalmor would have once and for all put an end to your pitiful little band of miscreants. Oh, you look surprised. But don't worry. I know everything. The town. This Marcus Janus. And most of all, Valerius Tiberius Arturia. And his pathetic remnants of the Keepers of Hatu. They were also once a great thorn in my side. And, like you caused me not a little bit of trouble in the past, but their time, his time, and yours, has come to an end. Expect. I expect him to die, like all men will die or serve the Dominion. The era of men has come and gone. It is now the time of the Ultima. You know, we were once a very patient people. But that patience has worn thin. I could have killed you, but I did not. Why? Yes, good. You see, we're not so different, you and I. I killed his family and others. You killed my men at the prison. We're both murderers. It's all just a matter of perspective. 
Ah, uh, but yes, you are. You will see that in time, if you live. You will go get Valerius Tiberius Arturia and hand him over to me at the prison where you murdered my soldiers. Oh, but there is where you're wrong. You will, or else your friend, Marcus Janus, will die. As I said, I know everything about you and your friends. I know that yesterday he decided to take a little stroll down to Riverwood. You know, you just can't be too careful these days. You never know when you might get kidnapped and brought to me. So, as you can see, you have little choice. Bring Valerius to me, and I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me, and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So, you see, Valerius is going to die one way or another. This way, you at least get to spare the life of your friend. It's your choice. Now, you must sleep for a bit, and when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. Guards, take him back to the shore. Hey, is there something I can do for you? How do you know this? God damn it, this is what I was afraid of. Wait right there. Falco. Do you have anything you want to say about this? Valerius, I... I don't know anything about any of this. I swear to the gods. You and I are the only ones who knew Marcus was going to Riverwood. I made sure of that. You are a traitor and a liar. If you didn't have anything to do with this, then how was Marcus captured? How did they know what my friend here was up to? How did they know where Korst was hiding before? It's all very convenient, is it not? I... I don't know, Valerius. I... I swear, I don't know anything you're talking about. Liar! Except for rescuing Korst, Arendelle has known what we were doing at every turn. You didn't have time to warn anyone about that, now did you? I saw you, Falco, two nights ago when you thought I was asleep. I followed you and saw the messenger you went with. I should kill you right now. How could you betray me like this? How could you betray Marcus and all your brothers? Valerius. I'm sorry. They... They said they have my sister and her children. They're so young. They're all I have left. They said they would kill them if I didn't tell them what they wanted to know. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. Falco, you're a fool. Your sister and her children are already dead. or slaves by now. You'll never see them again. That much is certain. We don't have time for this. Korst, lock him in a cell downstairs. I'll deal with him later. Yes, sir. Fill me in on what you know. Then it has come to this at last. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I'm ready to go when you are.
Arendelle. I came as you wish. Now let Marcus go. Now! Marius, what do you think you're doing? You can't! It's the only way, Marcus. You must know that by now. It has to end here and now. So, we finally meet at last after all these years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say you fall well short of the legends that precede you. <laughs> Keepers of Hartu, indeed. I said, let Marcus go! All in due time, Imperial. You know, I still remember the look on your son's face from all those years ago. It is the look of fear and death. And it's the same look on your face right now. I remember my men saying he squealed like a little girl when they beat him. And that your wife and young daughter both moaned like whores as my men ravaged them again and again and again. I'll kill you! Valerius, no! My money's on. 